This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think and see me analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the AMC naked shorters, the AMC Rico conspirators are not going to stop. I mean, when the first cat report gets released, probably at the end of this month, I hope it has so much malfeasance that the SEC, DOJ, and FBI are forced to act or shamed into acting and enforcing the rules of the market and holding these bad actors accountable. Nobody is selling their AMC shares at this point. They've been holding for so long, they're not going to sell at 50 cents. Okay, so the fact that they're able to push the price down is because they're introducing counterfeit AMC shares every single day in order to manipulate the price. Everyone knows exactly what they're doing. I mean, the SEC knows, the DOJ knows, the FBI knows, but somehow they refuse to enforce the rules of the market. Anyway, here's the numbers for AMC, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. You need to do your own DD and come to your own conclusion because what I might consider a good investment, you might consider a bad investment. Anyway, the reported volume, 27278424 You guys know these numbers mean absolutely nothing. We have no idea what they're doing in the dog pools. We have no idea what they're doing on the other exchanges that they use to manipulate the price of AMC. Calls in the money, 44341 and at five dollars, an additional thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and thirty-two. In a fair, transparent market, this would be gamma squeeze time. But we know that these bad actors do not have to follow any rules. They do what they want when they want. So they are not really concerned with going out into the market and buying shares to hedge their positions because they can just talk to their market maker buddies. They can create as many counterfeit. AMC shares as they want, or they can talk to the brokers and prime brokers to keep lending the same shares over and over and over again with no real consequences. And that is why we need the CAT system to expose all this fraud and corruption. And then 47.9% of the volume was shorted shares. That's a little bit crazy to me. So somehow they found 13 million new AMC shares to short into the monarch into the market and manipulate the price of amc i don't know how they're able to continually get away with this when it is so obvious that they're counterfeit shares it's so obvious it's, it's being run by fraud and corruption okay and then on top of all that they're still claiming that they can cover all their amc shorts in 1.49 trading days so when the market opens at 9.30 today on Tuesday, by Wednesday around 1 o'clock, they could cover every single AMC short position, even though they keep adding millions more every single day, not covering the old ones, but somehow they can cover them all in less than two trading days. Absolutely crazy. It makes no sense whatsoever, no logical sense, no financial sense. And at this point, we might have to just wait for the CAT system to do its thing and hope that the SEC, DOJ, and FBI enforce the rules of the market and hold the bad actors accountable. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think these guys could find another 13 million, what I believe to be counterfeit AMC shares to sure to manipulate the price and then still be able to cover all the counterfeit shares in less than two trading days? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.